Hello, hopefully this is working. If anybody's in the chat, can you please let me know? Um, if you've been hanging about for the past few weeks, you'll know why I'm bothered about if this if this life is actually working because I've had some trouble. But anyway, hopefully, all fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, just see Rosani's popped up in chat. So yeah, and mom says it's working. Awesome, great, great. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for bearing with me. It has been such a nightmare but we are back unfortunately still doing google hangouts which is nowhere near as nice as the other way i used to do it but we're back for our monthly scheduled broadcast of what does what, what did i call this how much does a lazy seller lazy eat seat seller make in february 2019 so we can find out um what my sales were like for february um, yeah, I'm going to ask you guys if you think I did better or worse than this time last year. But if you don't know the answer to that question, I'm, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed that you didn't watch Friday's video. It was Friday, the last video I put out, because you should have a fair idea if I did better or worse. February, yeah, no, no spoilers really here. It was, it, yeah, it, it's pretty impressive. But we're still going to cover that because this really does seem to be the favorite stream in what people like watching. So awesome, guys. So who have we got? As I said, we have Rosani. Good morning, Rosani. And mum, good afternoon. Cup of coffee for everybody. Um, Paper Crane wishes. Good morning, crafters. Hey there. I like that. That's, yeah, good morning, crafters. That, that, should, that should be a saying somewhere. Uh, right, I'm just going to get set up to show you my stats for the month. Um, you guys, you guys, let me know how your week's gone. Yeah, it has been a week. Let me know how your week's gone and stuff while I'm setting up. And yeah, just let me know what you've been up to. Uh, you'll see what I've been up to. You, you'll see once once I bring these screens up. Anyway, uh, we have Harley in the house. Uh, good to see you. Harley can only stay a couple of minutes, but wanted to drop in and say hi. Hey, good to see you, Harley. And everyone should check out Harley's channel. Well, it's not Harley's channel. What's what's the name of your channel? Um, House of Hacks, that's it. Everyone should check out Harley's actual proper channel, the House of Hacks. There's some cool stuff in there. There's still um, a photography one of making a flame out of a light bulb or something. I'm terrified, but I want to try it. Um, Diane Robinson, good morning, lovelies. I like that too. We're getting some good, good catchphrases coming in. And Megan's here as well. Good morning. Right. I'm, I'm nervous to get started on this, this talking about the money thing. I do want to say, I know most of you know this, I don't do this money thing to brag about money or whatever. It was when I started doing YouTube, I was following someone who every month they put up their YouTube money. Um, every every month um, they put up what they were earning on YouTube and I found it really inspirational to see someone start and get like real figures because quite often you only hear from the really big guys you don't hear from us as, as little guys um, so we've got yep yeah, Harley's got his <laughs> his channel up thank you um lucy's top lucy's toppers polymer clay artist ah cool good to see you um first time watching you live uh, your week's been slow but it's better than it has been well that's fantastic because february's generally a slow month so good to see you <laughs> harley nothing to be nervous about no apart from exploding my entire house i mean when my lights when my lights, my regular standard lights blow, the whole of the downstairs fuses. I, I need you around to fix my house by the sounds of it. Because when the downstairs lights fuse and I, I sort out the fuses there, then my burglar alarm goes off and I, <laughs> and it's really loud in the cupboard where I have to fix everything. So then I've got a burglar alarm going off that I have to fix. So I'm worried I would try, I would get one photograph and then have to redo the fuses, redo the, burglar alarm so that's that's what i'm fearing oh little bird thank you they're so sweet of you yes it's it's some people just don't like people talking about money but it's i think it's important if we're selling on etsy we need to we need to know what the deal is 
Right, so let's let's get this over <laughs> over and done with. Let's have a look at how my month went. All right, let's do the screen share on this for all you for all you YouTube people. If you found whatever is wrong with OBS, um, I cannot get OBS Streamlabs to work at all. So we're on Google Hangouts. So this means you lose my ugly mug, which which is fine for me um, when we go into screen share. So let's let's try this. See if I can get this to work. Right, bear with me. Still learning about this one. Right, share entire screen. That should be. If you let me know, that should be you guys getting to see my whole screen. This is such a pain. Okay, right. That seems to be working. Um, <laughs> Harley reckons I should do. I should do the exploding light bulbs at my mum's house. Yeah, mum's a really long drive. Okay, screen's working. Thank you guys, and and I believe audio's still working. So that's all good. So for the month of February, we will see. Actually, my views and my visits are way down well 17 percent down and that's a nice steady 17 percent on views and visits and the reason for this is since about november i've been running down um when my items i'm flapping my hands and you can't see me uh, when my items are expiring after the four months i was just leaving them because these were ones that weren't selling so i've just been letting them expire and my plan was to be to catch up on my christmas orders and then i'd start Start resurrecting the dead and see you know what differences what different things we could do with the old listings to make them really work but yeah that hasn't been a thing because the sales were doing so well anyway so that was running down so that's much lower than what my usual views and visits are um, and that's the reason why there's just significantly less listings in my shop um, if I think I'm down to about 60 listings. Let's have a look. What what active listings have we got? This will just take a wee minute to load up. Everything is so slow. Um, active listings. Oh, 33 active listings. That's all I've got in my shop just now. I've usually got about 300. So that explains where my views are right down. And at the minute, I'm wanting them to be down. Oh wow, Harley's, um, Har all Harley's family's about a 12 hours drive away. Goodness, okay, I can't complain about the four hours then. Although, it's been significantly longer than four hours sometimes when the, the weather's been hideous. Uh, little Bird, do I have a waiting list for my products? Oh yeah, um, listings are now being taken for April, <laughs> which is scary. And even then, yeah, I'm a bit nervous about <laughs> about getting them all done in time. Megan, your dad has his own business and says February is the slowest. Yeah, it depends what your business is, um, but certainly I find February can be pretty rubbish. Uh, for me, the whole of the summer tends to be a bit rubbish. And then Christmas has started getting earlier every year, um, basically, for, for me. Um, but I used to, I'd get a big dash roundabout American Thanksgiving, Cyber Monday, Black Friday time. And I don't do a sale or anything, but that would be my spike. And then that started moving earlier and earlier. And then this year from October, I've been solid through from October. So Christmas has started earlier, which is awesome. Right, and I'll say, okay, for those of you that didn't see, <laughs> that didn't see my Friday video, this big spike here in my views, what happened was one of my customers bought a sculpture for her friend, for her friend's birthday. And as she did, when she was opening her birthday presents, her friend Instagrammed about her gifts. And she has 125,000 followers on Instagram. So that drew a lot of attention. People really liked my product and that's that's where my spikes come from. Diane's had great visits and views and tons of favorites, but sales are almost non-existent in February. Diane, I know it, it feels like it sucks, but all the likes and views are a great thing. They're 
like building up your customers, your potential customers, they're getting you noticed, they're building up your SEO, but people are buying less. In general, people are buying less in February because there's kind of nothing to buy for. Um, there's not even, you know, very few people have birthdays because it's a shorter month, so there's less people having birthdays. Uh, yeah, so it's a bit sucky, but I'd still look at you're getting good visits and views and favorites. So that's that's as good as you can be doing. Uh, Harley, uh, see you later. Really good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Um, yeah, right. So where were we with this? Yeah, so 17% down, but you can see basically one Instagram person with a good following and a good following that likes her dog. So they liked my my item and you can see you can just about see the from the big spike hides everything, but it's been higher since then, but it drops right down. That's the thing with viral. You get a little boost, but it doesn't last forever, but I can't manage it to. So for the month of February, I had 40 orders. And for those that don't know, to put it into context, if I'm going flat out um i can make about two sculptures in a day but really i'm struggling to do one and have anything else in my life going so that's that's a good month and a half two months worth of orders in one month not only in one month in uh, 18 in one day <laughs> so that's like a month's worth of sales in one day a uh, little bird, yeah, um, slightly higher after the spike is, like I say, it drops down but doesn't totally die away because what's happened is you've had all those extra views and they're great views as well from the from terms of Eatsy SEO because it's saying, oh, she's bringing in new people from not on Eatsy. So um, that way then Eatsy can say, well, this, this is person that's doing as good. And not only that, it was um, three or four listings that I kept selling and relisting. So they were getting a super boost in SEO because it was saying um, that basically SEO, um, I, I should put my face on again for a minute, shouldn't I? I don't like this <laughs> thing, right? How do I unscreen share so I can talk to you guys for a minute? Right, Unsc is that unscreen share? That should be back to me. Yes, that's back to me. Yeah, so basically, where was I? What was I saying? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so the SEO, because each item, each is going, well, if someone finds that, searches for this term, well, this item has made us so much money. People are seeing it and buying it, so that's a good item. So it does boost it up in the SEO. So the spike will be going back down it will be dropping down to lower than the spike but higher than before because there's still not that many people looking this was just like a total random this was impulse buys for people they're going wow that's great i'm gonna buy that whereas they weren't searching they, nobody was shopping it just happened it was a random happen chance Little bird, yes, I can pre-make um, some armatures in advance. I do, well, I don't, I'm, I'm part way. I do, when I've had a quiet time, I did make up some bodies and things in the past. Um, but then, um, but basically I've I've been flat out since October, so I've ran out. <laughs> and also what's, what's also happened is I change, like I'll change what my core wall is and suddenly I'm like, ah, I don't like that anymore. <laughs> so I can, um, but I, I've run out of time to do that. <laughs> I wonder if I could just employ people to make little dog bodies, that would be awesome. <laughs> but I, I don't like the idea of that. But yeah, no, it totally is a good idea and it is something I do when I can. And also when I'm not feeling inspired, you know, I've got all these 40 orders, probably more I've got way more than 40 orders because I haven't caught up yet but um some days when I'm just not feeling inspired I can't do the the arty bit here yeah, this guy keeps looking at me so we'll show you him here so I can't do the finishing touches doing the eyes doing the face doing all the the cool things to finish them off I just don't feel inspired to do that so I'll make 
I'll look at what's coming up next. I mean, obviously, I have to have an idea of the type of dog. Is it, you know, a long back dog? Is it a skinny dog? That kind of thing. But I'll make three or four bodies just to be, I'm still working, but that's not the, that's not the artistic bit. That's the, that's the bit I can do easy, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yes, a little helper would be awesome. I don't know many people that needle felt around here. Um, and to be honest, I, I, I actually, I did another thing. I've done another thing after this spike because I've got so many orders. I've also put my prices up again. So if I can get the prices to a level that I could pay someone, but just now I'm kind of working <laughs> minimum wage, so I couldn't really... <sighs> If you know what I mean, I, I I couldn't justify paying someone at the minute because I'm barely paying myself. But it will come. It's well, it's come. I'm I'm complaining. No, I I, I did good this month. I did good. I'm happy. Uh, Wendy's having the inspired issues right now. Yeah, I totally understand it. I mean, I it's a balance. If you're doing this creatively and you really want this to be a business, then you do have to say sometimes you're not going to feel inspired you just it's a job you have to do your job and that sucks that's that's a rubbish thing but you have to think of that it's like okay I'm not inspired today but when I did a nine to five I wasn't inspired you just had to go in and do your job and sometimes you've just got to do that you just have to say I am making this thing today that's I think that's the difference between being artistic or being an artist if it's your job you've got bills to pay you know it, it sucks but i i totally understand um but anyway i i hope you get your i hope you get your mojo back another thing like i do like i've been doing with you guys here on the lives is to just jump through um like instagram or pinterest or something and find stuff and just copy someone you know not to sell but just copy someone else's work get some ideas just do something go for a walk on the beach but just say to yourself i'm gonna make something today just not necessarily right now i'm gonna walk the dog i'm laughing ben's ben's licking his bits at the corner here i'm just say i'm gonna walk the dogs and ben's been utterly charming we won't be putting him on camera at the minute um <laughs> Daniel, what did we say about you raising your prices? Well, that's, this is the second time this year I've raised my prices. So, yay, I'm going to be making money. <laughs> no, well, it, this this is the thing as well. When you're, when you're selling your art, you're not sure. It's like, oh, it's not selling. Is it too expensive? And then when you get a spike like this and people buy like crazy, you're like, no, it's not too expensive. It's just not being seen. So you've got to get, get seen. Um, a little bird yeah it's, it's all a balance isn't it it's it's a pain uh, megan yeah um it is cool to keep it as as your hobby but at the same time sometimes you have to push yourself be inspired make something but yeah if you're not doing it as as a business then that is a little easier but it, you know still get on go and challenge yourself think it think of something to make um it could be a good challenge i mean we've talked about this with um with youtube doing like one video a day or doing one thing a day challenge yourself to a week of creating every day or something and then take a big break and go and have fun but sometimes i did um what month did i do i did one video a day in August one video a day in August and we spoke about that there and I started August and I had an idea for about five videos but the more the more you swing your feet forward the more the ideas just kind of come to you and by the end of it I finished the month with more ideas than I started the month with so it's the same with felting that's I keep saying we spoke about this, but when I had the big orders from the shop, which doesn't seem so big now, so when, I, when I had like 35 orders to go to a shop um, and that seemed like a massive order and now I'm sitting on way more than that. But when I had that, I had this deadline I had to make and it wasn't, it wasn't specific dogs. I just had to make stuff. So what I did, I just did it and 
by the end of it i was inspired i was like oh i'm making this and this i love making this type of dog and let's try one of these so sometimes just doing it brings creativity sometimes you just can't sit and wait for it that's just my thinking anyway um where are we susan snowing like crazy in middle ireland oh you've got snow it is blooming cold here in scotland like the sun's out but it is freezing i'm actually sitting here with a cover on me and big big t-shirt and thick trousers because it's blooming freezing um so busy editing photos for the new listings this easy business is so time consuming oh yeah <laughs> i know what you mean i've never been so busy in your life yeah i'm totally with you there and the, th it, it, the amount of time you put into your shop is but when your shop's not busy you can still be super busy doing things that aren't making you money yet but they'll make money they're gonna make money in the future so it is worth it um rosani yep thank you uh, yes hi to hi to everyone and welcome new people thank you <laughs> um megan sold a few to friends but i like to make what i want not what i'm ordered to in case someone hates it yeah i totally understand that i know a lot of people won't take commissions because it is hard it and i always find that every time if i make something for someone and i'm not happy i think it's a bit meh they always love it and i send it good i always i stop I, I make it until it's done enough and then I photograph it and send the photographs to the people because I could keep going until I'm happy, but they were already happy like four hours ago. So I stop, I take the pictures and the ones I don't like, the customers always go, oh, that's awesome. That's great. Thank you for doing that. And I send it. And the ones that I love, I have ones that I, I, I just have like, oh, this is so cool. This is great fun. And the customers always like, no, don't think we're there. But, and this, this is, it's hard not to be like, oh, uh, like, I, like the wee dog, I've, I've got piles of dogs here, but this wee dog I showed you last week and I, he did his Photoshop and his customer, and the customer saw it. And I was like, so happy because this is a different pose that I've not done. And, you know, I was like, oh, wow, this is so cool. And the customer wasn't happy with it. And now, before you all get mad and say, the thing to not do is to not go oh no the customer's not happy with it this is terrible you know and get all depressed she wasn't happy because i'd missed the white pause no it, it's that little thing you see see what i mean so rather than go like oh no she's not happy with it it's like she's totally happy with it i just missed i just missed something that takes two minutes to fix and i had that in fact now that I'm thinking of it, right, the dog that caused this spike, the dog that was shared on Instagram, I made her and then the person that was buying it was like, no, I really don't think we're quite there yet. I'm not happy with the colours of the coat. And it was a lot of work to change it, but she was right. And I did the change and look at the results. <laughs> so it was so loved. So and quite a lot of times customers will go no no not happy with that and when you come back and you contact them it's like the ears at the wrong angle or you know there's just a, one slight little tweak it's it's not that the sculpture is bad it's just that the sculpture is not quite the pet if that makes sense so you have to not take it personally they're not telling you you've made a bad sculpture they're just saying there's one wee thing it's like ages ago i got a logo done of ben if you've been on my agile canines um youtube channel which i've not touched in a very long time but the logo of that is like a, a drawing of ben and the person when they did it to start with it was gorgeous it was wonderful but they had both of his ears up and he doesn't really have both of his ears up so i mentioned that and i think the mail I got back, she was a little bit snooty about it, but I was like, well, you did say revision. <laughs> um, and when she changed it, it's perfect, it's gorgeous, but I just needed, Ben has one ear up and one ear down. If if he has two ears up, it's not <laughs> it's not Ben, if that makes sense. Um, right, I'm, I'm behind with the chat. Where am I? Um, yeah, so I hope, I hope that covers that, Megan, but I totally understand it. It would be nice just to make things... But I found it much harder just to sell generic things. And also, 
because my dogs are crossbreeds, I totally understand people want a thing that's their pet. So it's, I, I like making custom, although it's a lot more stressful <laughs> than just making things. Um, little bird, I don't know about you guys, but I can get too much stuff overwhelmed, which can really restrict my creativity. I really need to tidy the craft room and dispose of the stuff <laughs> that's in the way. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't even want to show you what a bomb save I have. So there's a reason the camera's only in specific places, and even then there's junk outside there. But yeah, and I won't lie, I'll think the, the past couple of days I kind of... I've been uh, I've been felting, but I don't think I've been very very efficient at it. It's been a lot of farting about doing the same thing, and I've been very much like I know people have like tagged me on Facebook about things, and I've been bad at getting back to them. I've been bad at opening my emails. I kind of feel like I've pulled the covers over my head and said, "Go away <laughs> until I've got some of this done." Oh yes, yeah, staff to answer emails. That would be so nice. Um, um, uh, little bird, Megan. I know what you mean. It can be daunting making stuff to order. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, it's a good way of knowing what we'll sell in the future. Yeah, it's. I, it's something I'm meant to do, but I forgot to do it. It's something I was planning for the, the bullet journal, which I've not done March yet. Um, it's something I was planning for the bullet journal was to write down all the breeds of dogs that people are asking for so I can see what are the most popular breeds of dogs. But to be perfectly honest, I'm doing it again. I've got, I get see what I'm I'm not doing just now is I'm not um I'm not taking the photographs and mailing my customers like I should. But the breeds of dogs that are the most popular just now is kind of tan colored little fuzzy things i don't even know what breed it is but i've got lots of orders for these type of dogs and in fact i'm actually a little bit worried because i've got a few sitting here and i'm not sure which which dogs which when i come to photograph them i should make the dog photograph the dog contact the owner but I put a movie on, I make the dog, and then I move on to the next dog. So, again, staff, that I could do with people for that. Um, and Sandra in the house. Hello there, Sandra. Um, uh, Wendy, um, Wendy had that problem, was making a gift and had so many changes. Once I sent it, he sent me flowers thanking me, saying it was like his cat. Um, it was like his cat never left. Oh, that's lovely. See, that's, yeah, that's what it is. I find that whole, the part is stressful. The changes, the changes, changes, you're not quite right. But then it's just so lovely, especially it's when it's pets that have died or whatever else. That's just, it's it's so lovely. It's so sweet. Um, yeah, I totally, I totally love that. That's what makes it worthwhile. And I mean, I've had, I'm nearly, well, with sales elsewhere and stuff i'm well over a thousand sales well over a thousand custom sculptures i've made for people and so far i've had two that completely rejected and didn't want my sculptures <laughs> the rest i've managed to bring round i've managed to to fix them so that they like them and well the two yeah they didn't deserve my work <laughs> um a little bird uh, Boston ter Terriers and Golden Retrievers are popular. Yeah, Boston Terriers have got a lot of Golden Retrievers, two or three. They've not been so popular. I think also what's popular in what people are asking me for is what they're finding me for. So something like, I mean, like Border Collies, Labradors are the most popular dogs, but they've also got the most people already making them out there surprisingly um one of my most popular search terms is havanese terrier and i think it's just because i'm about the only one ranking for it so <laughs> you know i've i've not seen i've never seen a havanese in the flesh i've seen tibetan terriers never a havanese but i have made so many of those little dogs they're really fun to make too Oh, Lucy, <laughs> Lucy lost the internet connection. Well, hopefully you can get it on the replay if, if there's anything. 
I'm sure everybody else said good stuff, so it's worth checking out. Um, Sandra, some custom works are fun, some turn out to be nightmares. Yeah, I think most of the time they really are okay. And probably about 75% of the time when you think they're nightmares, they really aren't. It just is your you're taking it personally and also kind of especially if it's with emails you read the tone you think you feel a tone if you're having a bad day and you made something that you love and they're like no that's not right you just take it to heart it's not saying no she had a heart-shaped freckle above her eye you know <laughs> that, that's nothing they're saying all of this is wonderful apart from this teeny thing and you go omg that, that my day is ruined <laughs> um uh, Diane has to run out and help the hubby replace headlights on his truck. Good for you. Cool. <laughs> um, great chat. Have a super day. Thank you for stopping by and oh, have fun with the, the headlights. Depends depends on the type of truck. I, I used to be able to change headlights on cars, no problem. But now I had a mini once and you had to pretty much lift off the whole of the bonnet and get it was a nightmare. So I just pay the garage to do it now um lucy lucy has i have a i have a knee terrier oh fantastic all right i need to see pictures then I, I think they look so cute and they're smart as well um wendy do i ever charge extra if they have too much changes and uh, no um i get that people do that but i feel in general if i'm having to make changes it's because i missed stuff it's my mistake if that makes sense i know people can be extra fussy but i don't want to charge them like my my guarantee is to not send it until people are happy with it so i you know i i, I feel it's my mistake rather than them being too fussy and yeah it could, i guess i guess the thing is that like with these two two people i could have because of my shop policies, I could have kept pushing them and saying, you know, what's the problem? I'll fix it and forced them to take the item. But I think that's that's more the choice. Rather than charge extra if they're too fussy, I just decide, and I've only done it twice so far, but I just decide, no, you you do not get a Ben McFuzzy Lugs original. You're not deserving of my work. So, I mean, at the end of the day yeah it's a bit of time well it's a bit of time wasted for me but one of them um the two little king charles spaniels that i made i just put them up for sale on ebay and a friend got them for um a, an elderly person they knew that just lost their dogs so they got them at a discount price but i was actually super super happy that they got them so yeah um Oh, Lucy, cool. I look forward to pictures. Sandra had a Tibetan terrier before my lab. Havanese are so cute. Yep. I think, like I say, I've not I've not met Havanese yet, but I've seen there's a Havanese dog training display team, uh, or there used to be, and they had tricks and stuff on YouTube. The dogs were amazing. They were so good. I've worked, the t Tibetan terriers were so cute and so lovely, but, oh, they were interesting to train i'll say that i've worked with a couple i trained dogs well i trained people to train their dogs for agility and the tibetan terriers are some of the hardest to motivate dogs that i've had and i've worked with basset hounds <laughs> but the tibetan terrier was hilarious you would go like you'd teach them something and then they'd do it and then the next time you'd go come and do this jump and they'd be like no not doing that and what we found we had to do with one of them, the A-frame, which is a piece of wood in the shape of an A that the dogs run up and over, she really liked this. So we'd have to go like, go through the tunnel, now run for the A-frame, go over a jump. Now we're, so actually doing the A-frame became the reward and that, that was what clicked it in her head that she started doing it. But oh, it was so funny. She would just literally, she'd be like, yeah, this is fun, this is fun, bored now. No, I'm not doing it. it just, I've never met it. Like, my, my dogs are like collie crosses and they would go all day doing the same thing. It, me is a bit more of a character, but in general, you say, can you do this? And they go, yep, yeah, what now? Whereas this was more like, I'm done. Yeah, fed up. <laughs> the wind's blowing the wrong way. 
<laughs> they were she was hilarious i loved that talk but it was difficult magdalena's in hi there good to see you magdalena um megan's first sold was a horse the guy still talks about it today oh that's lovely um it was your fourth project sorry my eyeballs are still watering i know it's disgusting to sit and watch someone poking their, their eyes um the guy still talks about it today it was your fourth project i think you could i think it could do them better but they love them yeah oh some of my my original ones are just so right hold on right i'm going i bet the dogs will kick off i'm going to be very professional right excuse me guys dead air for a minute right i think i've shared this before i think i've shared this before but this was my first ever needle felted sculpture i didn't sell it because obviously it was for me and <laughs> this is the first ever one that i made um and i've got it i just just have it in my sitting room here because it's not great it's really badly felted it looks like a cloud but it's my dog <laughs> It's kind of my bent. Now, see what I said about the ears. I didn't even figure out how to bend his one ear over. But that is the very first thing that got me started. And after that, I sold a few. I made this and people asked, oh, could you make one for me? So I made a few at about this level of felting. So, yeah, could I do better <laughs> now? Absolutely. But people liked them because it was something totally different. Um, do, do, do what have we got uh magdalena absolutely daniel we need some i don't know about the cooking we need some more you eating terrible things i i am more than happy to send a pe care package of disgusting things from scotland so wonderful wonderful foodstuffs over from scotland <laughs> um uh, wendy has a little dog would like to train for agility but no cl no clue uh, go to a club honestly um i would go to a club that's that's not don't don't necessarily go to the um are you in america i, th I can't remember if you just said or hang on if you just told me where you are and i've forgotten but anyway um go to a club that although is training competition level but they're not super competitive you get clubs that are a bit more more fun um, and that could give you a start into it and then you can make little jumps and things in your garden but I would totally say go to the right people first just so that you get everything right I started agility with Ben when he was little and I went to a club that wasn't that was doing it for fun which sounds good but that means we weren't doing everything quite right and it's been a lot harder to train out the bad things when we decided that Ben was awesome and I wanted to compete. There's certain things that we'd already trained wrong, so it's harder to untrain things. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, Lucy has to go. Make sure to tune in <laughs> much more now. Really good to see you here. Yeah, um, <laughs> Megan, thank you. Oh, I was super happy with it. I mean, it, it's not good. It, you know, it's not the best felty, but it just shows. <laughs> Thank you, Magdalena. Your first looks like a Frankenstein. <laughs> but but that's you no know, whatever whatever our first anything looks like, it's gonna be way worse. It, it better be way worse than what it's gonna be in the future. I know mum tried felting along with me at the same time as I did the Ben, and she gave up and she just said that hers looked terrible, but it didn't. You just gotta keep going. Um <laughs> Daniel's working on more food stuff. Awesome. Uh, Little Bird Blythe, do I actually ask people to post pictures of their purchases on Instagram? Oh, I don't. I don't ask. Um, I. But more often than not, people ask if I have an Instagram. People like sharing things. If you know, if they're building up their Instagram. Um, but but yeah. Um. I do I think I've left somewhere on on one of my you know in your automated mails when people buy things I think something says you know you can hashtag Ben McFuzzy Lugs I think if I haven't I'll have to <laughs> I'll have to do it but 
but I I don't tend to. Um, they they just do it. If if people have a following on Instagram, they need to make content for Instagram, so they put things up. So yeah. Um, uh, Christina, yeah, sorry, I I can't check out people's people's shops today. Um, but if you want to come into Pam Duffy's Felting Friends on Facebook, we have a thread where um where you can post up and I go through people's shops in in order when I get the when I get the time and I will have to do some more of that I'll I'll do some more of your shops but you'll see it should be print pinned to the pinned to the top if you join Pam Duffy's felting friends and then I will have a look at your shop um oh Wendy's in Nevada cool 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 um just live in a tiny town you don't have anything close oh that's a shame this I know in America agility is pretty big. There should be things, but yeah, but you don't want to head for travel for miles. Um, well, keep an eye out because, <laughs> and in that magic time when I have more time, I'm planning on my. Well, I do have. <laughs> how many YouTube channels do I have? But um, I have some actual on on this channel. I do have some training videos of things you can do if you look for what's it called in fact i'll I'll look for it just now i'm I'm gonna do that really professional thing where i'm I'm searching online um but I've got some videos that you can do training without even any agility equipment um and I can't type and talk at the same time um I'll see if I can find it. Um, yes, got one of them. Don't play, don't make noises. In fact, I should actually share my screen for that, shouldn't I? Because I can, I can actually share my own stuff. That's fine. All right, come on, come on and share. Are we sharing? Oh no! Don't tell me it's crashed. Um, right are we still are we still broadcasting my screen seems to have frozen up um right uh okay i don't seem to be able to share my screen guys am i still am i still live it says i'm still live so i'll check the chat and see um well what i'll oh no ever don't tell me everything's crashed please don't tell me everything's crashed All right guys can someone let me know in chat if if this is still working because this is ridiculously annoying <sighs> Ew, my internet seems to have gone down all right i'm still up okay so i can still talk to you guys okay <laughs> all right i can't do anything but i'm still up so that's that's good enough my entire computer is frozen <laughs> but thank you guys for letting me know okay if you search for um pam duffy dog training without equipment then there's some stuff there's some some videos there okay um my computer is totally froze but it still seems to be a live stream i'm not sure if i'll be able to stop live streaming <laughs> so we might guys we might be here for for all night yeah which does mean i won't be able to show you much more of my stats if it doesn't unfreeze um, oh no, and I can't scroll the chat. I can just see the chat running. So if anyone said anything that I missed, if you'd like to say it again, <laughs> oh, can I not? Can I just not have a, a week where I can live stream without glitches? Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Wendy sleepover at Pam's. Yay, absolutely. You're you're all here. I'm not like if if I can't leave, none of you can leave. <laughs> I'll be be cooking my dinner soon if you all want to join in for that. Oh, I can't believe this has been such a pain. How many live streams in a row have I had a nightmare on? And then I did 2018, entire year, all of them perfectish. 2019 I, I think I've had like two streams that weren't a nightmare and now that I'm literally staring at a blank screen that has your the chat bars on and it seems to be scrolling but nothing else is happening oh, seriously and I don't know if if Google Google thinks it's still there right if I 
<sighs> Seriously annoying. Anyway, guys, entertain me. Let me know what's been happening with you guys. Um, because I don't even know if I better stop this broadcast and that'd just be too weird. Um little bird. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoy that. They are good fun. It's something totally different. And for me, I think lives um it's it's a way it's a way to connect with everybody. I've got to know so many of you so much better through through lives. Like putting a video up is good fun and I can chat in the comments and stuff, but I just found the lives are so immediate and you know we're able to talk to each other. Um and yeah, I, I enjoy watching I enjoy watching smaller creators' lives. I don't know if the rest of you have watched you get some some big people that have like a million subscribers and their chat just goes <laughs> like then that it might as well have been a video. Like they can see a little bit of the chat, but there's nothing you, you, they'll catch the odd word or people have to um what's the word super chat people have to actually get mon pay money for their their chat to show up because everything's going so so fast um so yeah i feel with the big the big creators you don't get the same feel but with with those little guys um it's i i think it's kind of cool um because you can talk to people so i do i like snooping people's chat so little bird life you get on and do your live stream <laughs> um and yeah you worry that no one would turn up and probably they won't to start with Right. Um, I had that. My my first live stream was terrible. I held my phone up. I spoke at it a million miles an hour, and I ran away, and no one turned up. My second one, I I had something planned to talk about. I can't remember oh, so long ago, but I had something planned, and so I did that, and someone turned up, and I got such a fright, and I had no idea how to deal with the chat. It was hilarious. Um. But yeah, I totally freaked out. But then, um, I did. Then I did none for another six months because I totally freaked out. But then, at the beginning of 2018, I decided to just totally do them. Try and do it regular. This is where I did this four o'clock Sunday evening type thing. My computer's still not unfroze. This is so annoying. That's where I picked this four o'clock um Sunday evening thing and I just said, okay, I'll plan. I've done like do shop reviews, going through Pinterest, doing my how much money a seller makes. Um I think we did just just get sort of that covered. Um but anyway, so I decided if I just keep doing it, I tell people when I'm doing it, but I have something planned unlike today i have something planned and then i have i can talk about things and then if people come then i can chat to them and i think the first few times i was mainly talking to myself and occasionally someone came in and chatted and i could reply back and then it's just built up and built up until we have this wonderful community that you guys are we're chatting. I've got to check the chat because I've got to remember I can't scroll back on it. Uh, Wendy told me, oh no, Wendy's comment just disappeared. There's something about your hubby. Okay, um, who's that? That's Rosani. Was pleasantly surprised with an ET customer's comment. She bought one of my supplies and gave me a great review. Fantastic, Rosani. That's great. Make a note. Do, do, do a, a, a page of awesome things and write down because write down, it's good to see them. Um, a little bird yeah it is great to talk to people and there's a fantastic community of people who go around live streams and just like hanging out i've got to talk through the chat quickly because i can't get it back once it's gone um yeah magdalena little bird do it and and magdalena will support you yeah there is there is people that would love just to see you live it's just nice to chat to people um little bird it helps to have regular dates absolutely um you know you i know you look forward to them oh that's lovely it's <laughs> it's nice to see the notifications pop up that you're live thank you so much but yeah that that is sort of the for me that is the point just scheduling a regular date a regular day and then people even though i've had some disaster <laughs> i've had some proper disasters um people still 
know to look out at about this time so even though my streams have been horrific lately people have still been able to jump about and find where the stream is and join in um and everyone's supporting everyone else and talking to everyone else which is really cool um and Rosanna, yeah, it is it is great when when good reviews happen. You'll be getting more of them. I, I see it. Your work's awesome and totally unique. So yeah, people will be liking it. Um oh, little bird says, Magdalena, thank you. That's really nice of you. Magdalena's lovely. Again, she's we have we have this wonderful community of like small youtube people i know magdalena doesn't have a channel she's not making videos but I, I feel she's part of part of this community as much as everyone else and it's lovely when you go on someone else's live and you see people you know from another you know and then what actually happens is everybody starts chatting to everybody else because we know each other from other people's people's lives so the the actual chat can be going and <laughs> <laughs> that's great fun it's lovely um oh no wendy set her alarm to watch and then fell asleep <laughs> oh but you're here now and in my wonderful frozen stream i'm i'm glad it's i'm glad at least the visual's working i don't know how i'm gonna be able to stop the stream I'm, this is gonna be the weirdest one like stuck it's stuck in the twilight zone of the stream and you guys will just have to check in like every so often you're just just be sitting watching me eat my dinner or something <laughs> no no we're not doing a 24 hour live stream <laughs> that's that that's weird oh when do you call your mom every morning so sometimes you get here late that's really that's really nice of you i bet your mom appreciates it don't don't tell my mom i, I call her every week <laughs> i don't talk i'm i'm such a hermit i don't talk to anyone every day <laughs> <laughs> I, I well the, the dogs but yeah I, I talk to the dogs every day <laughs> oh ben's giving me that look i would show you but i'm afraid if i pick up the camera if i pick up if i touch anything everything will just will just die on me um and wendy you did make it yes i we, I, I gathered that and that you don't have automatic chat that just says what you would have thought of saying. <laughs> I was guessing by the chat, but glad to see you here. I know because you've you've missed a few. So and I've been taking the register and you've you've got some check marks, bad marks against your name. No, I <laughs> I appreciate all you guys coming here and hanging out with me, especially, especially putting up with these disasters. <sighs> it's yeah, I, I, technology is a pain. That's how how can my computer still be frozen? Oh, I can I can wiggle the window that says Google Hangouts not responding. I can wiggle that. So I don't think it's my computer that's frozen. I think Google has literally died, or Google for me. Ah, oh, yeah. The, oh no, I clicked something and now I can't see anything right um okay right get the chat back get the chat there we go i can still pop up the chat that's this is such a pain right i i need some people who know about technological stuff oh, right stop it i don't want to share my screen um where are we where are we <laughs> megan did the same forced myself up and wanted the guy is like so i could make the time a different time it, it doesn't have to be four o'clock my time but every time i've asked everyone said this is a cool time if you want different times i have thought about doing another felt along like on a wednesday evening which would be wednesday afternoon for you guys because i've still got i think it's down there somewhere i've still got the aldi kit of the fox if anyone wants to do a felt along the fox i haven't done that yet so so we'll see um wendy eventually just power down the computer i think that is what i'm going to have to do i wonder if i can shut things down from i'm going to try try something uh, oh google chrome is not responding do you think do you think i don't right i'm not gonna well yeah i don't want to close it down because i don't know if it will close everything else so we're just gonna 
we're just going to wait here. Ah, I think I've done bad. Don't, don't like. <sighs> now something. <laughs> now something's happened that the chat's all, all faded, but I can still see it. Okay. Um. Oh, I can. I've missed a load of chat. Do you have a laptop webcam or do you have fancy tech? And uh, this is just my laptop. Well, it's not my laptop. This is a webcam. It's a Logitech C920, I believe. Um, yeah, if I had more fancy tech, that would be even more difficult. You can buy really expensive things to connect up your DSLR camera to be a, a webcam but i'm finding this is okay oh no i've missed some more chat from wendy right read some more um little bird when you do a live does it automatically upload to your channel as a public video um it does when you set it up that way there's there's ways you have to go in and set it up what i would do uh, what i did for the first few times when you set up a live um set it up as a private video so that nobody can see it and then you can test all the settings and it should load it up live and you can make sure that everything's okay that's the way i did it um magdalena sounds like my computer needs service if it keeps freezing it's generally my computer has been perfect the problems before this week is something with obs streamlabs i have no idea what's happened today but i think it's google my my computer itself is fine but google seems to be playing up um because i can open anything else i can do everything else but just Google itself seems to have crashed. It's possibly because I've got uh, two windows of Chrome with many tabs open and we're running Hangouts. So, yeah. Um. Oh, Megan, this time is good. You have a new baby who's hungry. Oh, c congratulations, new baby. Cool. Um, Mum saying that's lovely, Wendy. So obviously I've missed something more. Sorry, I can't. The chat has froze. The chat has frozen, but it's still moving. I can't do anything with it. Um, little bird Blythe found an Aldi DIY felt panda in a charity shop, but didn't buy it as I've so much stuff. But you thought to me, oh, th <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, I know that there's only so many things you can have. I keep looking at different things, um, but yeah, um, <laughs> there's only so many you can do. Um, Wendy with an I was best friends with her mum too. She was amazing. Oh, Wendy, that's lovely. Um, Magdalena, have Daniel sponsor <laughs> sponsor you for a camera. I'm assuming that's for little little bird Blythe. Um, I've got I've got quite a lot of cameras now actually that's if you start doing YouTube you start gathering technology <laughs> um little bird yeah the camera this this webcam um I got this because it was what Nick Nimmin was using um he's a YouTuber if you don't know and I just thought the quality looked really good when I'm filming regular videos I've got a decent camera um the half year of reluctance is finding somewhere to film that looks okay in the in the background. Yeah, I I know that feeling. I I, I have little. What I've done, I can't because this is a PC, not a laptop, so I can't just take it anywhere I want. But my normal filming area is I have a loft bed, and I stuck some photography backdrop behind it, and I have my camera in front of me. So it's like literally might be about a four foot area underneath the bed that I just use for filming. I've clipped on like cheap lights and things. So that would be cool. Um, uh, Magdalena, you need to close all the folders that actually freezes other apps. I know I'm just scared because when I go to close it down, I don't know if that will shut down Google Hangouts as well. I don't want to just what well, I, I will do that when I'm <laughs> when I'm logging off I'll try and close all of that down and then hopefully it'll hopefully it will still it won't kill the broadcast in a bad way it will just stop it I don't know I might have to come back in that you might have like 20 minutes of dead space dead air or something I don't know Okay, Megan has to run to get ready for work. Bye. Okay, right. Good to see you. Um, bye. Um, 
uh, Tinker is late going to start at the beginning as and <laughs> keen to know your sales and betting higher. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tinker. Well, you'll get this eventually. But well, you did see the sales, but I haven't been. I'll I'll have to next week. We'll have to do <laughs> this video again properly. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to do this and actually show all the things I meant to show before I froze my screen. Wonderful. Oh, Wendy, um, you told my mum that that your mum and you are best friends. I, I should just read. I'm trying to convert to you eyes into yous and things when I'm reading it out. Um, and she loves your calls. Oh, that's lovely. Um, Alban, you like my hair? Thank you very much. I, I just did it. <laughs> Thank you. A little bit. Oh, little bird's just saying bye to Megan. And we have Brian G. Johnson in the house. Hello, Brian. Welcome to my terrible. <laughs> Welcome to my terrible live stream where everything that could go wrong has gone wrong, but we're still rolling. <laughs> um, Alvin, you are most welcome. Thank you so much for dropping in. Um, I do think we're kind of winding down a wee bit here. So if anyone has any questions, it does not look like Google is going to start working again. So like I say, we'll do next week, we'll do the actual how much money a lazy eatsy seller makes. And we'll go into all the what my promoted listings are, the keywords, all that kind of stuff when my screens happen to work again. <laughs> um, yeah, Brian happens, roll on. Yeah, um, it happens, but I have only had about two live streams this entire year that have worked. All the rest have been a nightmare. <sighs> One of those days. Okay, so any questions, I can just about read them in the chat and then I will try and figure out how to shut down a stream. Either that or <laughs> hang something over the camera <laughs> and we'll just we'll just go with a Daryl Leaves 24 hour live stream because I don't know how to switch this off. Ah. Yeah. But yeah, if anybody's working on OBS Streamlabs and knows what the problems were and if that can be fixed, if you can let me know, because I want to stop using Google Hangouts because I really hate this. <laughs> okay, right guys, so I am going to try and shut this down. It might take a while or it might just go quickly, but thank you so much for joining me. Uh, apologies as ever but this has been awesome fun thank you all so much let's let's see what happens right just shut